teacher Grace here, and for today's lesson, Effects of the Interactions Among Organisms and the Environment. Is it beneficial or harmful? Audio Jump But before we start our proper lesson, let's try to answer these following jumbled letters to form the hidden words. Draw a heart if the picture shows beneficial, kung mapusla nun or makatabang, and square if not. of interactions. 1. Beneficial interactions. Mutualism. The type of interaction where both species benefit from the relationship. Example, a flower and a bee. The nectar of flowers is the source of these foods. Pollen grains help in fertilization and producing fruits. Bees produce honey. Trees produce fruits and useful and beneficial to human. Pag moingan ta og mutualism, pareho sila naka benepisyo sa usag usa. Ang buyog naka benepisyo sa bulak kay naadiha ang nectar nga mooy source sa iyahang pagkaon. Ang bulak pod or ang tanom naka benepisyo pod sa buyog tungod kay ang buyog mooy nagatransport sa pollen grains para ang buwak or ang tanom makaproduce og bunga. Commensalism The type of interaction where one organism benefits while the other is not harmed nor affected. Example A tree and the ferns The tree provide home for ferns. Ferns beautify gardens. Although the tree is not harmed or affected, by the fern's presence. Kung may ngang taong commensalism, ang isa ka-organism makabinipisyo sa isa. Ang isa, dilitod siya makabinipisyo pero dilipod siya maapektuhan or dilit siya ma-harm. Harmful interactions Number 1. Predation The type of interaction where one benefits while the other one is harmed or badly affected. The one that usually benefits is called predator and the one that is harmed is called prey. The sizes of predator and prey population are related to each other. If the number of prey is large, the number of predators decreases since they have a smaller food supply. Example, the relationship of a frog and an insect. Ang relasyon sa frog o sa insect, gitawag na to predation, wherein ang baki may gitawag na predator, nga naghatag o kadaot sa prey nga mao ang insect. Parasitism, the type of interaction where the organisms that benefit are called parasites and the one that is affected is called the host. Example, man and mosquito. Aside from sucking blood, mosquito can cause dengue fever and chikungunya. The parasites could be internal parasites which can be found inside the body of a host, stomach like ascaris. External parasites which can be found outside of the host body like aphids and ticks on the dog's body. Parasites cannot live alone. They must live in a living host. Some parasites do slight harm to their host. Others can kill their host. Competition. The type of interaction where organisms compete for food, sunshine, space, shelter, water, and other things that they need for survival. Each organism in this kind of relationship is a competitor. 
Example, different kind of plants share the same path. All of the plants compete for food, sunshine, space, shelter, and water. Now let's check what you have learned so far. What type of interaction is this? Let's see. Parasitism. Effects mosquito will benefit by sucking blood. Man will be badly affected by the itch, mosquito bites, cause stingy fever, and chikungunya. Next, what type of interaction is this? Yes, it's competition. Fish will compete over the resources and space in the aquarium. Next picture. Yes, it's predation. Effects frog will benefit while the insect will be harmed. How about this picture? Yes, it's commensalism. Very good. Effects heron benefits from a carabao while the carabao is not harmed. Okay, next picture. What type of interaction? Yes, it's mutualism. And the effects bees pollinate and give honey while flowers became fruits. Both are useful and beneficial to human. This time, get your module and let's start to answer. In this test, complete the statement by supplying the correct word from the box. Write your answers in your science notebook. Choices in this activity can be found in your module. Activity number two, and fear the possible effects. Direction, from the given interactions among organisms below, and fear the possible effects of each interaction in the environment. And for your assessment, in your notebook, put thumbs up if it can bring beneficial effects, and thumbs down if not. Again, akong bisayo ng instruction. Sa ibang notebook, dia sa blanko mag-drawing ka og thumbs up. Kung ang example is naghatag siya og binipisyo or kaayuhan. Kung naghatag pud siya og kadaot, butangi or drawing og thumbs down. 